We're going to be talking about sunscreen, and here's why you care. One in five Americans will develop skin cancer in the course of a lifetime. There you have it. And very often it's connected to a burn in childhood. To help us through everything today, Dr. Doris Day, a dermatologist and educational spokesperson for the Skin Cancer Foundation. Thank you for being here, doctor. Thank you for having me. Sunscreen, lots of choices, lots of numbers. What do we need to know? Okay, first look for an SPF of at least 30 because if you're applying a 30 chances are you're really only getting a 15 because nobody really uses enough. The second thing is look for broad spectrum or UVA, UVB protection and one more new word to look for that's really important is photostabilized. Photostabilized. Yes, this means that it's a little bit broader protection and it's going to last a little longer but make sure you reapply it every two hours or it's as if you never used it. So no matter what, even if it says sport, you want at least 30 photostabilized. And reapply every two hours. Every exactly. two hours, good. The five places that we forget to put the sunscreen, if you're like me, are? Okay, starting with the top, working our way down. Men who don't have hair know to put it on their scalp and mm -hmm. wear a hat, but women who have hair, or men who have hair, can forget their part. So make sure you get in your part line. I see lots of burns there. And when you have a skin cancer screening, make sure to also have the doctor check your scalp. Mm -hmm. The next area is the sides of the face. What people do is they put sunscreen on, rub it between their hands, and put it on so they get, get the, the middle, and you're wasting the sunscreen. All right, so top take of the head, it, dab sunscreen. it around and then go back and blend it in and don't forget the sides. Get the sides, okay? all right. Back of the neck. Back Women who neck. wear ponytails, people with short hair. Move the hair, burn. put it on. Back of the neck and top of the ears too. And then the next area is the front of the neck and the chest. This area burns more easily, mm. scars, ages faster than the rest of the face. So almost put it here first. Okay. And the last area is all the way down at the feet. Get your feet done. I know people aren't trying to tan there, but those burns really hurt. Bad. Don't forget the top of lips the Lips also to be sympath uh, and you get in yeah. the lipstick, you can put it on, you get the well, chapstick. Also, a lot of lip glosses have mineral oil, and this can actually amplify burns the sun. It. So put sunscreen mm. on first. Don't forget your lips. All right, take me through these products. We got, okay. we have, uh, these are the screens on the windows. Right. So this is Lumar for the car. Mm -hmm. It's optically clear, and UVA goes right through glass, so you really want to protect in the car as well, and this is really easy to do. In the home, you can do it as this well? This is home. This is Lumar for the home. This is also very clear. You can actually just peel it very right nice. off. So it's pretty nice. Doesn't look, and your plants will still grow, and your furniture is also protected besides beautiful. your skin. And now we have clothes and things. And what do we have here? Do you hear that? The beautiful <laughs> sound of a baby. Anna Wild, one of our producers, beautiful Elizabeth. Yeah. She's wearing sun protective clothing, yes. and she's gorgeous with the eyes. You can't do anything <laughs> with those eyes. Well, baby Elizabeth is wearing Sun Buster's clothing, and this is light weave protected clothing. Her hat obviously would be down in the sun. Mm -hmm. And mom is wearing Kula Bar clothing. This is great, comfortable clothing. You'd never look at it and say it's sun protective clothing. It's very fashionable very comfortable and then we have ultraviolet bracelets so these are also these yeah. are good ultraviolet bracelets yeah. which will turn what? violet in the sun and this is really good on a cloudy day to remind you that it's not just on sunny days that you need sun protection so this indicates that you need the sun protection we told you how it's to a use reminder. the sun protection and these are all the different types of clothing and the kids like it right it's not like you're putting them in some type of contraption no. it feels like regular clothing they enjoy it it is so lightweight so comfortable and it's great in the water a regular t-shirt has an spf of eight when it's dry four when it's wet so you need sun protective clothing Dr. Doris Day, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Beautiful Elizabeth, beautiful mom, Say Anna Wild, one of our producers. Elizabeth, give me a little wave. Give me something. Yeah. She's yeah. gorgeous. A little She's clap. gorgeous. <laughs> Coming up, we're going to look at some very expensive necklaces. What a beautiful kid, though. Look at those eyes. Start.